Blog Talk Radio. It's your man, Mr. Stout, right here, DJ Scheme Beats. We're on the Scheme Beats Radio Music Review. Got a special edition right here that's going on. I have an artist and an entrepreneur uh, doing her thing, man. Uh, this is definitely dope what we got going on here. Uh, she's coming out. It's been a lot of different places, man. She's coming out of Ohio right here. And, um, yeah, it's, it's going to be a, a pretty good deal. Yeah, I'm excited. Thank you for inviting me on your show, Mr. Stout, Stout. Thousand. Yes, come oh, close. No, I'm sorry. It's DJ Skin. You feel like I'm yeah. a bunch of aliens. Oh, yeah, okay. right? It's like you never find me. <laughs> <laughs> what is I'm good? excited about um, this new guest that's coming on. Yeah, she, Kentucky Rose. Yeah, yeah. She, um, she got a lot going on. You know what I'm saying? She got a lot of stuff that's going on. She's doing a lot, you know, and she actually is on the line now. So I'm going to bring her on in. Oh, yeah. What's going on, Kentucky Rose? Welcome. Hi. Hey, hey. Hello. Welcome to the show. Hey, oh, hey. thank you so How much. I'm honored. Yeah, no doubt. This is, um, welcome to the show, and, and um, it's great to get a chance to talk to you, and, you know, we did, like, a lot of things behind the scenes to try for this date to come up so we could actually get a chance to speak about all the good things you're doing out there and, and let some of our listeners know uh, about some of the things you've been going through and your, you know, going through your success and everything like that. Tell us, like, you know, where it all started out. Oh, so it started out doing um, some cancer benefits. Um, I wanted to help people, so I was like, what can I do, you know, to give back, but to get my name out there at the same time? Um, And so I started doing cancer benefits, but I wanted to start out, you know, doing them for free. Um, And 
So that's kind of how it started out. Okay, yeah. So you've been uh, doing the working with a band, and uh, you know, can you let let our listeners know what type of music you're working with, or what some of the things you did at the uh, you know, or the at the benefits? Yes. So when I was doing the benefits, I was actually playing a little bit of everything. Um, it was a lot of classic rock because that's what the people really wanted to hear. And yeah. I would do country and rock, and I kind of just had a mixture of everything because I wanted to um, please everyone, you know, have a little bit of something for everyone. Right, right. So you, um, like, you also did, like, things in Cleveland, like, you know, doing some contests and stuff like that, like, um, was like a Cleveland Idol that you did out there. You was a, a, a contestant in that. Yes, yes, I did. I was actually picked out of um, a lot of people. I believe it was like 26,000 um, people I was picked out of. And I think they picked about 300 people. Yeah, so, so I mean, what was, was the experience exciting. like? Um, the ex- I was so nervous, like, um, and, you know, it was like an all-day event, so I had to be there all day long, um, standing in lines and, um, you know, just waiting for my turn. Um, I ended up being um, one of the last three in that competition, so that was really exciting. That's when I knew, like, something was, was happening for me. Yeah, you can you can you can tell from it, like you know, and putting in like after that many people, like you know, you, right. you, you know, there's so many people, and then to be like to end up in the like the top three, that's you know, what I mean? yeah, that that shows like you really got something that's really good. Now, um, like we we spoke that you said that you had uh, like most of your music was like live, you did like live performances and things like that. But is that has you any have any songs that were recorded? Um, so I do. I started out with um the name Cool Change. And we were traveling pretty much in my area. So it was uh, local in the beginning. And then after a while, um, we branched out um, to a few cities, um, more towards Cleveland. um, And I was doing um, things like uh, festivals. And I did some bar gigs, of course. Um, And then after I did that for a little while, I decided, you know, I need something that is a little bit more me and it'll be memorable um, because I knew, like, I had been with the band for about eight years at that point, and I was kind of keeping everybody together. And so I needed wow. something that was going to say me instead of, you know, the the whole band. And that's when I came up with Kentucky Rose and the Ohio Grass Band. It was actually me and uh, one of my other band members. Oh, right, yeah. That that's came up with that name. Good. Yeah, that's a pretty good name. She got the, the, the phone. Oh, yeah, yeah. we want to say, yeah, say hello to some people out there. Who we got? Okay, let's pull in the first one. Um, you have <laughs> Hello, caller? <laughs> Calling to the Speakeasy Radio Music Review. You got one in your number. What's your name? Calling from? Oh, they probably got their phone or or, or the background. They can hear us. Hello. <laughs> Let's, go to, Let's go to the next lady. Who we got? Um, you got it. Um, hello, caller. You have five eight two in your number. What's your name? And where you calling from? Okay. And listening in too. Somebody want to say anything? Hello to Kentucky <laughs> Rose, anything like that? They just listening in. It's all good. All right. But they're listening in. That's fine. <laughs> Let's go down Thanks to the for next. tuning in. Got one more. <laughs> hello, caller. You have seven six three in your number. Uh, you call yes, hello. Yes, this is Gerilyn calling in. Hi. How you Hi. doing? Hi. Hi. Good. I Hi. know Rose. Yes, Kentucky Rose. All right. Yeah. Tell us um how do you, how are you affiliate? Are you a fan or are you uh, a friend or a family member? I'm a fan. I feel like I'm a, a fan fan and, and a, a family. <laughs> friend. Nice. Yeah. 
Yeah. So, so you've and seen I'm, her perform live and things like that. So, like, um, can you give us, like, uh, what, what's the experience like to see her perform? Oh, she's wonderful. She's great, and she has wonderful inside and out. And she's a wonderful singer. She's going to make oh, it big. Thank you, Paz. Did you have a question yeah. for Did you want to ask her about um, her, her career or her what she's doing? Did you have a question for her? Um, when is the single going to be released? So I am still working on that just because it will actually be the first song I've ever written. Um, I've, you know, jotted things down in the past but never wrote anything of my own. So hopefully that's going to happen within the next month. Yay. That's exciting. Yeah, I, I want it to be just right, you know. And I wanted to get your great. gear, the hats and the shirts. I'm excited for that. <laughs> Oh, thank you. I All really right. appreciate well, you following me. Love you, Rose. I love you. Thank you so much. Right. Yeah, right. Thanks for calling thanks up. Thanks for calling in. Thank love you. you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Sure. Hello, caller. You have 221 in your number. Did I already come to 221? <laughs> Am I already at 221? Is anyone there at 221? Hello. Hi. Hello. Uh, what's your name? Where are you calling from? My name is Ray. Hey, Ray. How are you doing, Ray? Ray. I'm good. Yourself? Pretty good. Pretty good. Um, are you a, a friend or a fan of uh, Kentucky Rose? I am, family member? I am a. I'm both a friend and a fan. All right. That's what's up. So, um, tell us something like now. You you actually seen us like you know perform and things like that, but. What's some things that our listeners can hear, or something like how the way she is, you know, as a friend, like you guys uh, ever get together and and hang out? She's she's a very loyal friend. She's very honest. She's particularly fun to be with. Very positive okay. person. Okay. Okay. Did you have uh, a question? You. You ask I'm sorry, I didn't hear that. You have a question you want to ask her about her career? Or yeah, what, actually, what she actually got I, I had two questions, um, if I can do two. The first one was, okay. what was her first song she sang out of the um, Ohio Grass Band? One of my first songs, oh gosh. Um, it's been quite a while, but um, I remember doing D.V. Nicks and... Um, I was doing Cheryl Crow, so it had to be one of those. Those seem to okay. be one of my first ones, if I can remember correctly. Yeah, I know that one question I never asked you is, what is your favorite song to sing? What is my favorite song to sing? Um, that's a good question. I, I think when you're um, a true artist, there there are a lot of songs in your head Um but I always seem to go back to Dolly, Dolly Parton. And I remember this one particular song. Um, it was called Me and Little Andy. And I think that's when I knew that I was going to sing, that I was going to sing in front of people. Wow. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You're going you're to make a big rose. I can see that. Oh, yes, you got a lot of support. So much. And she is. And I, I really love your voice. You got that Kentucky accent, and you sing country songs good, and you sing the rock songs good. You got a good variety there that you can sing with. Uh, thank That's you. Really I appreciate that, Ray. No and problem. I really Ray, appreciate thanks, you Ray. calling in also. No problem. That's okay. all I have. Thanks, Ray. Yeah. Thank you. You guys have a great night. Thank you. You too. No doubt. We got Kentucky Thank Rose Kentucky. with us right here. On the Ski Beast Radio Music Review, we're doing it live right here. Oh, yeah, so um, I know we got a couple more callers that's on here calling up. Um, we're going to get to you guys, but I, 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 wanna, I also like to ask you some more questions as well. Um, now, are you, like you said, for this new project that you're working on amongst that, but you have other things that you're working on as well, right? Yes. Um, so for me, I've always been somebody who likes to stay busy. Um, 
I feel like that kind of keeps me out of trouble too. So, <laughs> like, it's at least, you know, that's that's how my mom always right. explained it to me. Like, idle hands are the devil's playground. So, like, I always think if I stay busy, I stay out of trouble. So, um, but, yes, I am actually a makeup artist. And now I am a talk show host on Bigo.com. Okay. Yeah, nice. Bigo Tell us about the Bigo.com. Um, so Bigo Live, that just kind of fell into my hands. Um, I had been looking into some broadcasting um, for, you know, actual radio stations. Um, I was just getting tired of hearing a lot of no's and um, circumstantial things kept me um, – because I did have a contract at one time when my father passed. So I went into thinking about broadcasting, and I had a friend. I was on Star Maker, and I was getting pretty big over there. And she came to me, and she was like, hey, have you ever heard of Bigo? And I was like, no, I haven't. And she was like, well, you know, you should check into it. Um, You know, you get paid over there, and so I was like, okay, you know, I'll check it out. And I didn't think anything about it, really. Um, got on there. At first, I was like, oh, no, I'm not doing that, you know. Um, kind of looked around and thought, you know, why don't I just give it a chance? Um, yeah. You know, I was already doing live streams on Facebook. Um, I had done that for two years. And I was like, why not get paid? I, you know, I'll give it a try. So, yeah, I got on there, and, it, I mean, it's been great. Like, I people, you know, people are amazing there, and I've met a lot of great people, um, got a pretty good following going there, and, and I actually love it. Yeah, well, tell us, like, you know, what's, what's the, what is it all about? Like, what do you do, like, on there? So what I do on there is um, broadcast, obviously. Um, Well, at first I was just going to broadcast, do makeup looks, do a little bit of singing. Um, And then I fell into a few talk shows where people wanted me to join. And all of a sudden I thought, well, why am I not just doing my own? And I started calling it um, Kentucky Rose Exposed. All right, nice. Yes, and so it just kind of took off from doing these, you know, couple-hour audios to now, as soon as I jump in the audio, um, there's nine people in the seats, including myself. And usually as soon as I get on, I've got a full panel. Wow. And I just get on there and talk about things. I believe you do have a full panel because this phone line is blowing up. Let's, let's, let's get another, another call. One. I don't know. I hopefully I don't get the one that I, that didn't say anything. I don't know. So we'll go to this one. Uh, thank you, guys. Uh, God bless hello. you. You have, you have 763 in your number. You're calling to the Snoopy's Radio Music Review. What's your name and where are you calling from? It's a card. We'll spread out. I just forgot Hamilton. Hello? Okay, we'll go for the yep, next one. Yep, wrong one right there. Yeah, we'll go for the next one. Okay, caller, you have um, 393 in your number. You called to Skin Beats Radio Music Review, um, interview with um, Kentucky Rose. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hello. It's, um, um, I'm actually calling out of Michigan. Um, um, okay. But now I'm, I, I go by Fox. <laughs> okay. Hi, Fox. Hi, Fox in the house. Hi, Fox. Yeah, I was going to say, I've, I've, been, I've been following her for quite a while on the app she mentioned, Bego. Um, wanted to say it's good to actually see um, things going as well as they are for you, Rose. Uh, thank you so much. And uh, I, the one question I had for you is... Um, of, of this entire journey of yours, what would you say the fa- your favorite part of the journey has been? So that's actually easy because I've been doing a lot of thinking about that question 
um, that you're asking. I took myself back to when I first started, um, you know, Bego, um, and just live streaming in general. Um, when you can actually help somebody with a problem, and it really doesn't matter what it is, when you can walk away knowing that you actually help someone, but I, I think the talk show is my favorite part of Bego because, you know, it gets downright nitty gritty and it's real and that's what I like. I like real. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you gotta definitely check this stuff out. Now when when is the show on? When when is it when is it on? Is it, is it replays or is it like on live or you guys do something like that? Yes, it's it, all live streaming. Okay, so what time do you do your shows? Or how can they check them out? So I mix it up, but usually I'm somewhere around noon because if I can sleep in, I do because, you know, I work the regular jobs most, right, most right. of my life. So it's nice to get to sleep in. But usually around oh, yeah. noon, and then I do an um, evening broadcast. Okay. So you guys have like a particular like uh like topics or like you know or, or like like a pre topic thing or you just got like you just kinda of dive in when you go live? Well so in the beginning I had um topics and um I noticed people different people would come in and out because you can get endless amounts of views, endless amounts of people that join you. So I just decided to kind of keep it open. And we should just talk about anything. Okay, yeah. So whatever's on anybody's mind out there, go to the Big O app right there, Big O dot com, B I G I O. You know, and um, will they find you on Ohio uh, Gas Band? It is. It's uh, ID Ohio Grass, just like it it sounds. All right. Well, thank you for calling in. We appreciate you. And Rose, remember you are loved. Remember that, and you're gonna do well, uh, very well. Thank you, Fox. Uh, I love you. Now that's, that's some awesome. fans yeah. right there. You yeah. hear me? That's some fans it's, it's, right there. That's what's Kentucky up. Kentucky Bowes in the building, exclusive right here on the Scheme Beats Radio Music Review. Definitely got some some joints playing some music as well coming up. You guys stay tuned for that as well. But I think we got some more um, calls as, as well. Yeah, right? they they're not playing. So let's let's. Oh yeah. my gosh! Thank you. Yeah, they, they showing you mad love. Okay, um, they are. So call, you have um, five eight two in your number. You calling to the Scheme Beats Radio Music Review? What's your name and where you calling from? Yo, what's up? This is Jimmy All Good. First, I would like to say oh, what's up to Keith Jones. Jimmy All Good in the house. Hey, what's up, everybody? They got Jimmy All Good in the house. Hey, Rose, first of all, I want to say that, you know, you, you're doing an awesome job in the interview. I mean, like, I know you're kind of nervous, but it's like that, but you're doing awesome, like, for real. So, yeah, I'm, I'm her oh agent, my gosh, you know what I mean? thank so, you so much. I appreciate y'all having her, yo, for real. She worked, she worked hard yeah. for it, and, and she's working even harder, you know what I mean? All right, because I'm, I'm seeing that you guys are going to be working on some material as well, right, together. They're doing a collaboration? Yeah, yeah, we're working on a duet together. Um, the name of the oh. single is called Over You, and that's the one we're working on. That'll be her first uh, duet single that she will be dropping. Um, and we just having to get everything together, you know, with her writing and everything. But um, it's coming out pretty well. Like I said, she just has to take time out and focus, and that's what she's trying to do, get everything jotted down, because you don't want to rush anything because, number one, when you rush a song, you know, you don't want to go in and say, well, I should have did this, I should have done that. And I got to go back yeah. and then change things up. So when she do get it together, then we can go out and it can be right. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Right. That makes sense, man. And the way, you know, the way you guys are doing it, you know it's going to be dope, man. So I, I know you got some new mm-hmm. stuff out there as well, man. Or what's some of the things you've been working right. on? Well, well, me, I'm working on a new single. You know, you know, I have a lot of singles that I'm about to release. So I'm just kind of like trying to work with different other people, you know what I'm saying, and show people the love that I have been shown you know, throughout my career, you know what I mean? Like I say, you know, um, it's good to pass on this opportunity to someone else that, that need it, you know what I mean? But I only deal with people that's hungry for it because a lot of people is not hungry the way Rose is, you know what I'm saying? Like I say, she has the personality, she has the uh, credibility to go out and do what she want to do. And also, um, her voice is like, it's, it's amazing. Like she can sing anything from pop, country, R&B, rock and roll, I mean, whatever. Yeah. She has that versatility of whatever journal that she want to do, and that's what I like about it. She has that 
personality. You know what I mean? And she can make it happen and make yeah. people listen to her. That's a good thing. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. 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 She got the phone on because the phone line is blowing. Ah! Yeah, oh, she, 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 she loves she loves all over you like she loves everywhere, and you know, and I have nothing but love for you know, because like I said, I when I first heard her sing, I found something. I'm like, you know what, I'm I'm gonna help you get where you need to go. You know what I mean? I'm the man. I make it happen. I got a connection, so you know, I I try to to to, to work with her to get her where she needs to be because a lot of people can come to you and tell you so many things, and and they can't deliver the things that they say. You know what I mean? Because I don't want to drag nobody career in somewhere that they can't deliver the things that they say. You know what right. I mean? You gotta be able to deliver those things, you know, to get her out there. And then um, she she's yeah. ready. You know, she just got to stay focused. And when she do, it's gonna be a hell of a song because the song's gonna be <laughs> tight. I don't touch See, nothing but it. Jimmy all good man. Jimmy, Let them know how they can follow you man. We can find you and find you and everything like that. They can follow you through. Yeah, you know, you know, I'm on Instagram, you know what I'm saying, all 71 I'm on Facebook, Jimmy All Good, and where you put my name in, you know, it's going to pop up anywhere, so, you know, it is what it is, but, I, you know, this this is this is all about Rose, you know what I'm saying, and I want to I wanna make sure she know that, that she has oh, to work yeah, hard, and yeah. she got the, yeah. the things I'm to do it, you know what I'm saying, and I love what she do, you know, and we're going to make this thing work, and we're going to work on her album, I got a lot of producers that's, that's ready to write songs for her, you know, and, and get her ready. You know what I mean? If she don't want to write, then I got people to write for her. All she got to do is learn to get in there and sing. And that's it. And make it happen. Oh, my gosh. Thank that's you so much. Thank you so much. Jimmy, all good. Jimmy yeah. you, you can hang on, but you know she got like 55 oh, yeah, other callers waiting. Yes. Um, I, hey, I need her. I'm going to listen to her whole interview, but I'm going to make sure she do it right. But, but y'all go ahead and do it too. <laughs> Rose, I, I love you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, I keep your head you. on straight. <laughs> Stay strong. And, and, and keep and Patrice, thank y'all for having her, y'all. And y'all going to see more of her. And we're going to do a lot of business together. So let's get it. All right. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much, Jimmy. All righty. You want to go down to the next? Oh, yeah, we got another call. call yeah, we can say hello to everybody. Hello to everybody. Uh, the next caller in line, you got 834 in your number. You called into the Skin Beast Radio Music Review. What's your name and where you calling from? Hi, my name is David. I go by David the Amazing on Bigo. All right, David the Amazing in the house. All right, that's pretty cool. Yeah, Hi, David. Yeah, David, so um, um, would you like to have a question for Kentucky Rose? Uh, well, I was... Uh, Sort of a question. I, she had mentioned uh, Dolly Parton uh, a few minutes ago in mm-hmm. a yep. response to another question. And I n- know that Dolly had a, a, a rough time of it with growing up. And I'd like, I often think that Dolly's experiences are much like Kentucky Roses when she was growing up. Mm-hmm. I don't know if she would talk on that a little bit, but I think it. They yes. were right. They were the actually. Um, they were. Yeah, she, she, she was a persevere and 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 doing all of those things out there, and for the women's movement and 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 not just taking nobody's ish. Like you know what I mean? Like right. I, that's what I got from her. Like you know and and but then she was always uh, performing with the best of them. Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> all of those. But she was always like that's what I remember from her. And in and, and the movies and everything, that's something that you were interested in do as well, the Ducky Rose, like being in, in, in the films? Yes, yes. Um, you know, I was always that really eccentric person that had to stand out, too, and had this really um, big connection with animals, um, you know, because life was hard. We had some struggles. Um, yeah. And I did grow up in a one-room house um and and it was hard you know um we we didn't have a lot of things but i had an amazing mother so that's what got me through it and of course the music the music got me through a lot so yeah you read that very well david yeah thank you and you were talking about uh, big and her uh shows on big o Earlier, I believe it was this week, there's something on Big O called the Heat List that measures how sort of a popularity ranking, and she was number one and number two a couple times this week. Wow. Love that one. That's great. Yeah, everybody keep going there. Definitely go to Big O and check them out, Uh, Ohio Grass. Yeah. Yeah, that's what's up. Thank you so much, David. 
Thank you, David, for calling David in. David the Great. David the Great. Thank you. David okay. is so amazing. He is so amazing. That is the that perfect awesome. name for him. I'm, Right, I love when people like you know they being sincere and genuine. Like when they when they hear somebody that they that, that affected uh-huh. them, you know, you know, and that's what you're doing. You're like you're actually healing lives through you know through your music and through your song <laughs> and through what you're doing, uh, you know, on you know on your interviews and your live shows. Like that's like you know we we all got to do God's work, and that's what that's what we're, right. we're, we're trying to do that, right? Right. You know? So you're doing your part. So you And know. it's obvious because they took time out to make sure that they call in and listen in to what you got to say. So your movement, who you are, what you're talking about, all that kind of stuff is obviously powerful, and that's awesome. We got another caller oh, on the yeah. line. Caller, you have 644 in your number. Um, you're calling to the Skin Beats Radio Music Review. What's your name and where are you calling from? Um, I'm also on Bego. My name's Kayla. I'm not going to go into my name because it'll give a little too much personal info to some people with some of the people right. calling in. Too much. <laughs> I don't want your social security for my birthday. Well, you I, understand some people, you just don't want to blab out and you want to keep it personal. Right, but, yes, yes, <laughs> you yes, know, you, yes. you don't want to give too much. <laughs> right. That's um, great. I, I love Miss Rose. Like, you guys have truly the greatest pleasure of her voice and knowing getting a chance to know who she is like we've clicked the moment our, our lives kind of just collided which is kind of mm-hmm. awesome and I just I was calling in to you know show my support because it, you know she is a little bit older than me and looking up to her and her singing is just phenomenal Thank yeah, you. Wow. Like to and I'm from Milwaukee by the music. way yeah, I'm calling all the way from <laughs> Milwaukee <laughs> Wow. Okay. Oh, awesome. oh, and just so y'all know, we do have a special panel for those listening. If you want to chime in and follow us, we do have um, a whole Beagle theme going on right now with her panel and everything. <laughs> right now, Thank you, guys. Right. So what's, what's, up in there? What's, the, um, mm-hmm. what's the website or how do they get to uh, Big O? How do they get to it? Uh, to Road? Okay, so you can go into your Apple Play Store or Google Play Store and you can download B I G O, Big O. And you can yes. find that in the Play Store, the Google, or your Apple tunes. <laughs> Thank you so much. I appreciate that. And you can also go it's to their website, which is Beagle.tv.com, which is another uh, place you can visit and view through your um, computer, TV, PlayStation, all that fun stuff. Yes. Okay. Yes. yes you can get Pretty it, like, simple. Different, different um, mediums. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's Don't great. think it comes well, up thanks. as a dating thing, but bypass that. Ignore that. <laughs> well, no. Right. Yeah, you know, we don't want nobody getting no big old trouble. <laughs> well, thank you. Right. That's, that's called awesome. entertainment. Right. It's awesome that even though you have your own show, you called in to show to support to someone else's yeah. show. Like that show a lot about you. So thank you so yeah. much for calling and showing her support. Like that's Yeah, not a problem. I love you guys. Yes, awesome. Girl, I love you, thank you. I love you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Mwah. We got Mwah. Kentucky Rose right here, exclusive interview right here on the Skin Beast Video Music Review. We got a lot of calls that was coming in. Um, I think we got more calls. We got yeah, more we calls. Do. We got um, yeah, we got more calls. I mean, like you said, you got a big crowd. 10,000 10, people coming to see you. Wow. And now we got the lines lighting up all over the place. Wow. Um, like, like, can you give us, like, what what is your show presence like? Like, how is the show, like, when you perform it? Uh, so it's it's just like you hear all the time. Um, you know, you can be one person one one minute, and then as soon as the mic you know, is there, and the people are there, something happens, and it's like a whole other person comes out, and it's just everything I've ever wanted, you know, was to, you know, not just sing, but um, to be remembered because I feel like I have a story. So it's just like you hear all the time, but... For me, it got me through, um, you know, some things that I probably wouldn't have gotten through without it, without the music. Right. But the people. Right. That, I feel that. The, yeah, the I people, feel that about but, myself. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I right. really thought music changed, it changed me the, the, the direction of my life or where I was going. You know, because I was going to be like, you know, I was in the, uh, 
you know, the, the, the chef world, like, you know, the, the food service world, you know, and I like still yeah. love to do music. And I was like, you know, decided to go back to school and, you know, get my degrees in production and, you know, performing arts and everything. And I was just like, this is where I want to be. And it, it definitely, it led me to like some really good places. Like when I'm right here, like right here I'm, in, yeah. I'm in Ohio. You know what I mean? And this is, you know, that was, well, I was, you know, I don't want to speak my age, but that was almost 20 years ago. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> it was still but like, you know. you know what? Going, age, going that like really young. is just a number. It really is. Yeah, I know. People were like, man. Ain't nothing but a number. <laughs> Ain't nothing but a number. Because <laughs> I call them put them. just as much work yeah. into if I am doing, uh, just for an example, uh, a retail job as I would if I hit the stage, you know, I make sure that I put just as much effort into that job as I would a performance. Hmm. Yeah, you have to, right? You got to, like, because you want to, it's like you put your yourself out there as a, as a brand, as a product, or something that people can, re, like, they, they, you want to give them something they can go home and reflect. But like, I've seen Kentucky Rose on stage, and I love a performance. You know what I mean? It was I got a chance to take pictures and, you know, and and see what she's doing out there, you know, right. and and then also be a part of things they're doing like on on Big O and things like that. How you helping people? You know, this is like this is your calling right here, and you're doing this, and then like now you're working with, uh, you know, my guy Jimmy, all good man. So like you are really you're like, look, you in all good hands. You in like, good hands. <laughs> <with all good. laughs> right. Exactly. Cool. Yeah. I'm, and if you would have asked me, like, when I hit Vigo, yes, I had been singing, and I never give up singing, because if it's really in you, you're never going to give it up completely. But when I went to Vigo, I wasn't looking for music. I, I'm not exactly sure what I was looking for other than making some extra cash and just trying to help people. Mm-hmm. So that was just an extra. That was like, you no. Know, the cherry on top of finding a good job because Vigo, you know, it's a great place to make money, too. Okay. Oh, yeah, you better jump on that. Um, caller, you have right. 582 in your number. You call into the Skin Deep Radio Music Review interview with um, Kentucky Rose. Can you state your name and where you're calling from? Hello. Okay. All right, yeah. All right, then. We'll come back keep, to you later. Keep listening. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Let's go to the next caller because yes, we got you. a whole line of them. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, caller. You have 823 in your number, and um, you called into the Skin Beach Radio Music Review, our interview with Kentucky Rose. What's your name, and where are you calling from? My name is Dory C. Burnett, and I'm calling from Hi, Orange, Ohio. Hi. Ohio. Ohio in hell. Hey. Ohio in hell. <laughs> Hi, Mama. Yeah. Hi, baby. That's a mom. Oh, oh. <laughs> that's my mama. <laughs> mama love. <laughs> A.K.A. Mama love. <laughs> <laughs> I'll introduce you to the line. I'll mama on the line. I had to give you some mom love, you know. All right, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Right. So, and I, I'm curious, Mom, what was she like growing up? Like, did you could you tell that this was going to be the path that she was going to take? Like, did she do anything to let you know she was going to be creative, a singer, or whatever? Like, what was she like growing up? Well, she was a tomboy when she was young, but she <laughs> always wanted to sing. And her first thing was, her biggest thing was she wore Michael Jackson Thriller hat for ten years. <laughs> And she always wanted to sing. She always did. We always knew that. Okay. So, Kentucky Rose, yes. what would you like to say to your mom? This is a, a, a wonderful time to say anything to say to your mom. <laughs> well, there's so much, but I guess the main thing would be, you know, that she's – been the mother that she's been along with one of the best grandmothers that I know Um, but always just letting me know I could do whatever I wanted and you know always just she had that fun side to her you know what I mean the side that you need growing up too you have the strict mom but then you have that fun side and she always had that 
and yeah. that's the discipline. Yes, you have discipline. Same time, but you be right. a kid and grow up. Yes. Right. Yeah, she didn't just you know uh, make things. You know, like cause when you're a kid, I think you're you get stressed out easy. But she she always had that fun side. She was the mom that all the kids wanted to hang out with. <laughs> okay, so I sound like a kid. Yeah, yeah. Like, she like had kids, a fun like, yeah, side. You know, friends want to come over to their house, like yeah, yeah, yeah right. Like kids, friends, oh that's the house that comes to after school type thing, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But she knew when to tell them no too. So that was you know. Yeah, Mom, when my kids didn't act right, them kids could go over for 30 days. I'm like, oh, y'all want to act up? I'll see y'all next <laughs> yeah. month. They're like, next month? That's right. <laughs> right. Down. You need that like, break. <laughs> you <at> a prison. <laughs> That's right. That's great, though, man. Well, I, I love you, that. baby girl. I love you, I love Mama. You. Thank you so Thank much. You. You keep Thank on you running. Calling. I will. Right. You I know you. I will. All right, and I'll talk to you later. Okay, I love you. Love you too, baby. That's Come on, cry. Here you go. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> we got that right there. We got that right there. When you when you next now so when you on uh like one of those like uh, extra or something like that or when you shows like that, you know what I mean? Like you talking to her mom, like show the mom love right there. <laughs> I want to ask you, um, Kentucky Rose, about your makeup artistry. Like, oh, yeah. Like, how did you get into that? Because I, I looked at some of your stuff, and it's like, you you really don't be playing around with that makeup. I know. it's I, I don't know. I always think maybe that just goes along with the music. Because um, if you ask me to draw you anything on paper, it just looks awful like I can't really draw on paper at all but it's like something happens when I get the colors in my hands like like a like a painter like an artist right so you have to have it, a canvas though, but it's not on paper though like you have to have the canvas of what it's going to look like so do you do like yourself or you are you, or are you doing like on other uh like artists or something like that or you know so in, initially, I started out just looking at other people's stuff and trying to draw it on my face. Okay. And yeah. it is hard to draw on your face, you know. Because um, you're looking like some, backwards in the mirror, right? Is that, that's the case. Like, what was the some of the things you that are, you, you are, and well, and then you're also taking someone else's vision and trying to make it your own, kind of. Um, but I think what happened was. You know, I was going through something really stressful, um, and I'm not that person who gets depressed. Um, I had a little bit of depression as a young person, but most of the time I could pull myself out of it, and I I thought, you know, what better thing to do to concentrate on something else than, you know, to to work with makeup. And I just happened to find a makeup company called Lime Life, um, and their skincare and makeup is amazing. Um, mm. And that's kind of how it all started. And they would do lives, and you would have to, like, do it on a live. And they would talk about, you know, supporting each other and um, lifting you up. And and the things that they taught me in that company um, really molded who I am today. Okay, nice. 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 Yeah. Do you do you do makeup for anybody else? Um, I was. I was um I was I'll tell you, I pushed that as hard not as hard, almost as hard as I did my music because I had um kinda bad skin growing up, um and so I would struggle with those issues and there were times when, you know, I would feel like I wouldn't really want to leave the house because my skin was always something was going on with it, you know. And yeah, yeah, and this skincare and makeup company, the skincare alone changed my life because oh, wow. uh, my skin just looks 100%, you know, better. Wow. Oh, wow. What was the name of it again? What is it called? It's called Lime Life, uh, like a lime and then life. Mm-hmm. 
And it is like just as amazing like life. as it yeah, sounds. Uh, um, Lime Life. It was L-I-M-E-L-I-F-E. Yes. So they, they so they can see you with some of the products on Diggo, and they can also, like, you know, find out more information about uh, getting some of these products for themselves on your Diggo page? Absolutely. Um, I even give out free uh, samples. Um, I do that because I remember what it was like to go through uh, skin issues, especially young people. Mm -hmm. So anybody that wants those, um, you know, just reach out to me. I do now, how, them, how do but how do they reach I'm sorry. you on Big How do they reach out um, to you on Big So um, you could, they could also reach out to me on Insta or um, on Insta, I'm Kentucky Rose um, with a Z, and on um, Facebook, um, is it okay to use my real name or? I mean, do you want them to go to your Facebook page? I mean, they can. That's actually where I do the skincare and makeup. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, but yeah, yeah, you, you can find you through there. Yeah. So yes, on uh, Facebook, I'm Bobby Jean Heiser, and it's I E, Bobby with an I E, Jean Heiser. So yeah, you could reach me there, and you know I can help you out with that. And and um, I'm not exaggerating. Um, the skincare is. Absolutely fantastic. It's all natural, no parabens. Um, you know, one of the top out there on the market. But is there like a lot of testimonials for this? I mean, I know you were test like you you were testifying about it. Like, but is there like other uh, people who are saying like how it works for them as well? A different skin texture, there or anything are like thousands, that? Thousands, thousands. Um, it's been around um, since I believe it was 1962. Um, oh. The founder is Michelle, and she actually started the company because her best friend got breast cancer, and um, they, you know, thought that it could possibly be from her skincare, hair care. So she started out doing it like this, so women and men, actually, women and men both could sell it um, from their home and be able to take care of their kids, um, people who are disabled, anyone who has a phone can sell the skincare and makeup and make a living. Wow. That's fine. I mean, we'll have somebody like that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's not bad at all. Yeah. Rose, I'm going to play the round. Yeah, that's right. Because Rose had it going on. She got an entrepreneur. You hear me? With a Z. I got it with a Z. I don't know if you know she has it. I'm just trying to help. With a Z in there. With a Z in there. Like TV's radio. With a Z. Anybody who rolls with them Z's, we already know. You ain't playing no games. With a Z. I thought that was so great. I was, because actually my founder, on Bigo, um, family founder, he started out with kinship, and it has a Z in it. And I was actually one of the people in his family that changed the S in my, you know, in the rose, in the name Rose, to a Z, yeah. because I was like, I rose up, like I took some really bad yeah. situations in my life, and and I rose up, and so it was yeah. perfect. Say that. Yeah. You know what? That's, the little that's Kentucky that's Girl amazing. Rose. Country Girl Rose. Yeah, I, I really like the name. I really like the name. Oh, yeah, it, it, it has like so many different things. Like it could sound like like a like a champagne or like a like a some hardcore like what you about to say? Like I don't know. Look at it. like like <laughs> like you know people like, right. like, like, Kentucky that's Rose. Like some of that. Yeah, well, it's just like it's I had to add my family in there. I mean, they were all literally, I mean, if they, you know, they could hear me now, like that that family, you know, my dad's side of the family in Kentucky. I mean, talk about um, a place to be where, I mean, and I love Kentucky. It's beautiful there. But when it comes, you know, down to it, uh, there's not a lot going on and, you know, where I'm from, it's a very poor community. So for them to, to just see, what, you know, how far I've, I've, I've came from there, mm -hmm. would I, you know, yeah, that's, 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 that
you go down there like do you go like, your family's down there do you go like to, like to see people or like set up like shows and things like that like bring back you know you know you out here in Ohio and you've been you know doing a lot of uh, performances and touring and what you're doing right now have you have any plans like you know to come back you know to Kentucky and, and do some things I would absolutely love that I you know wouldn't really care where in Kentucky just somewhere they could get to because I still have a lot of family there. No. That so the place called um, Grapevine? Is that, is that in Kentucky? Grapevine? Grapevine, yes. That's where I, I lived most of my, you know, life there when I was a young a young girl. She was <laughs> sound country to me. She, yeah. yeah. So if I, like, well, I'm from Kentucky. You wouldn't, you wouldn't say that she was from Kentucky. Yeah. Well, there's a story behind that, too. Right? Dolly Parton from Tennessee had that. Oh, so Kentucky sounds like kind of like people in Ohio. They don't have an accent? No, you got an accent. Yeah, yeah. Do I have an accent? Yes, <laughs> Why do you think I have an accent? I do, too. Cause I was gonna, I'd be on the phone with people and be like, you you from New York? Like, I'm like, I'm so, you. right. So, you, you got a lot of your live stuff on your YouTube page, right? Tell them how to get to your YouTube page. Um, so I'm just using my real name, which is Bobby Jean Heiser, um, at like hi and then S-E-R. Um, I, I really haven't done a lot on YouTube. Um, to be honest with you, I had quite a few people in my family pass away, and I was, you know, kind of down about it, and a lot was going on, and I put the music aside because, you know, I chased it for so long. And I, I just kind of took time with my family, and so a lot of things it's on YouTube are order. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, you know what? I, I know exactly how she feels. Yeah. I did the same thing. Yeah, yeah. Doing yeah. music that yeah. I stopped for like 11, 12 years. Wow. Yeah, so I, I know how it is. You got to put family first. You know what I'm saying? You got to do what's most important. But the good thing is you've come back out. You came back out like a champ. What's you, wrong? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I feel I'm like I'm all, just all blessed. All y'all callers that hung up because y'all couldn't be patient and wait for me to click to y'all. You had it rolling over here, Rose. I am not lying. Like, I love that. You know, some artists that come on or some guests, you'll tell them, you know, tell your fans. I don't know if they tell anybody. <laughs> really? Right. No, yeah, I was, like, it. honored that you guys have me on the show. So I was, you know, it's not just about me. You know, I feel like whoever's helping me and any direction, I'm going to do things to help them. And, you know, I was bringing as many people as I could get to come with me. So, oh, I think that's amazing. I mean, I hope that you, like, well, you guys going to go into the studio and get the songs. So we do this thing up there for Atlantic Music Industry Group. Like we do this uh, networking uh, event that we're, we're coming down with in September. Or if you have any shows that's coming up as well, but, you know, in between like, the summer or, you know, once you get the single done, like we get a chance to see you perform, but um, we want everybody to actually go out there to Big O and then also to Limelight because that's a, that's a big deal right there as well. So, yeah, we um, yeah, we can, uh, help you out with that. Um, are you a member? I can't remember. Are you a member of the Atlanta Music Industry Group on Facebook, um, Kentucky Road? I I am not right now. So I just have like my little page going, and that was like a group thing I was doing with my band. Okay. So you're more than welcome. You know, we have like 18,000 members in the Atlanta Music Industry Group, and they're always looking at, you know, they support, they network, and all that kind of stuff. So if you ever want to share like a, a big old flyer so they can get to you, it's become even more fans. Thank you. Early, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's where it's at. So uh, we like um, Atlanta Music Energy Group is just like Kentucky Rose. Like, we got that V, you know what I'm saying? We got that V going on. Uh, yes, I love it. You change the V in music, y'all. We got that V like Rose. Rise and roll up. Rise and roll up. We like Kentucky Rose up in the mud. I <laughs> uh, thank you so, so much. What advice? Because um, that's Rose, would you give to someone else who might want to start a big old page or, 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 or they want to follow and become an artist or a makeup artist? Like, what right. what kind of um, advice would you give? Um, so I would just say, you know, um, 
keep it real, be yourself. Um, you know, just remember that anything that you do while you're pretty much really anything in life, but especially um, entertainment platforms like Bego is to keep it real, but, you know, um, be careful what you say and do because everything you say and do, you know, I always say has like a trickle effect and it can hurt someone else or, you know, it can help someone else. So you make that decision while you're on there which direction you're going to go, and I try to stay positive. Yeah. Because every yeah. action has a reaction. I know, right? Yeah. Like, yes, I heard the way you cry. You know what I mean? I know people probably get that's on your nerves. They're like, oh, fear. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I that's what I'm thinking. I'm trying not to let the Kentucky Road thing come up out of me. <laughs> oh, my God. Don't now, be hit by one of these thorns, right? I have, have, have I've had my moments on there, but you know, for the most part, like I just I want to be remembered in a certain way because one thing I remembered, um, or why well, I think about, like when I started the skincare and makeup business, even though I was selling skincare and makeup, a lot of times, you know, on a month I didn't make a lot of money. I knew I was still selling something, which was positivity, right. and I did that for three years, like. I pushed it so hard that I sometimes would think people were getting sick of me for it. Like, they didn't want to hear, you know, because some people, you know, positivity, they're not having a good day. So, but at the end of the day, I do think, you know, even when you got to put someone in their place, you don't have to put them in their place in a negative way. Right. It's seven straight. That's what you call it. Like you don't have to put out that yeah, negative right. <laughs> You know what? And it takes a bigger mm-hmm. person to be able to put somebody in their place in a nice way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's hard. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, no doubt. Um, anybody you want to give like a shout out to? Anybody you want to say hello to, or anything like that? I mean, all your all your listeners and all of your, your followers and your fans, big up, you know, for all of them calling up. But anybody you want to you know, say hello to? Yeah, I mean, for the biggest thing is I want to, you know, give a shout out to uh, God because if it wasn't for Him, I would have never made it here, and I'd have never believed in myself because I always, no matter how far I strayed off, God was, you know, I always pray um, and keep that real. And then, you know, shout out right now to all of the Bigo people that showed up for me because you guys are more than just followers or fans or gifters, um, your family, you know, and and it, it's it's nice to have a second family. So thank you all so much uh, for oh, everything yeah, you do for me. Up. Oh, yeah, we showed up. Showed up. I'm like, we showed up. Ohio. Yeah. And there was a lot that, that, that called in, but they just didn't stay on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So mm-hmm. you had a lot of love. Tonight, that's what's up. That's what's going on. So, what's give me your social media handles again? How they can follow you? Um, so, um, really, um, it's Kentucky Rose uh, with the Z. Um, that's Insta, and then FB was uh, the name I gave, which is Bobby Heiser. Um, mm-hmm. Other than that, I kind of been laying low a little bit, and you know, doing the Bego thing because you know I was right there in the COVID with everybody else and just trying to make it through, you know? Oh, yeah, we all, yeah, you know, and, and, and lessons that we made it through, like for those of us who didn't make it through for that. But, yeah, yeah but we appreciate you coming on the air with us. We have, like, like 20 oh, seconds left. Oh, thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. We appreciate you so, so much. And we're looking forward to that merchandise that you're about to put out. You know, oh, yeah, uh, thank you that. so much. Lime Life, Instagram, and, and Facebook. Thank- Kentucky yes. Rose, spell with a Z. With a Z, don't forget Jean that freaking Z. <laughs> right? With a Z. Bobby Jean Heiser <laughs> on the book and everything like that. Go out there. Big up to Jimmy, all good as well. Everything everything is all good. And so you can just definitely just like uh, hit him up on um, the Google name. Much love to y'all, Bigo. I'm going to have to check y'all out. Oh, I'm yeah. Out. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, oh girl. girl. Thank you so much for calling in. We appreciate it. <laughs> Look uh, thank you so much. Right 
Mixed Out right here on also CNB's radio, on DJ CNB's radio, on CNB's radio, SBR. Let's turn up a little bit. Let's turn up. <laughs> 